Hypnotize yourself for anesthesia. Your 10-step guide to create your own anesthesia today. There was a superb television delight on here in the UK entitled Hypnosurgery recently and it showed a man receiving hypnosurgery. That is, he had a hernia operation without any anesthesia other than by using hypnosis. Of course, it is a sensation because it is on television, however, these have been done for years. There are lots of film studies and masses of research that has been done using hypnosis alone when performing surgery. Many ways have been used to alleviate pain over the years and I have experienced many myself and found hypnosis accompanied with a range of mind skills and tools to be by far the best way of overcoming and altering my response to it. Can you remember a time when you had a paper cut and you did not realize that you had it until later on that day when you saw it with your own eyes? It was not until you saw it that it hurt and thought ooh that smarts a bit. This is naturally occurring anesthesia, the capacity which exists within us all. One of the most basic methods for using your mind to create anesthesia is called the glove anesthesia method and today I want to share it with you for you to use as and when you like. Important point here, you must only use this pain control technique when you know the cause of any pain. Please also consult a doctor if the condition persists. Otherwise, use this technique for fun and to remind you of how amazing you and your brain really are. Step 1. Find a comfortable place where you will not be disturbed. Close your eyes. Get yourself relaxed, focus on your breathing, let it be steady, deep and slow. Imagine relaxing all the muscles in your body one by one and really do take the time required to establish a nice relaxed physical state. Use your imagination to imagine a favorite place, somewhere you feel safe and relaxed. Imagine that you can hear the sounds of that place, see the sights, feel the feelings that you would feel in that place. Use your conscious mind's awareness and focus on each of the muscles in your body and think the word, soften, into each of your muscles. Imagine them melting, softening and allow your mind to be peaceful. Take a good few minutes to do this, indulge yourself. Step 2. Develop a strong sense of purpose right now. Using your internal dialogue, remind yourself and tell yourself that you have the power and ability to be in control of any sensations in your body and mind. Because you really do. Tell yourself that you accept that you are in control of your own mind. Focus on and imagine the unlimited power of your mind, tell yourself that you can send numbing sensations into any part of your body. Develop a sense of belief in yourself and in the power of your own mind. Really encourage and empower yourself. Imagine that these words of personal power and belief that you say to yourself are being delivered to the deepest depths of your mind. Imagine that they've been accepted on every level of your body and mind. At this stage, also tell yourself that the word, anesthesia, is your key trigger word for a conditioned response later on. Step 3. Now we begin to invoke the glove anesthesia. Begin by concentrating upon your dominant hand, really focus on it to the exclusion of all else. Notice the tiniest of sensations within it. Begin to imagine that using your attention, your dominant hand is free of all feeling. This needs some time and concentration. Maybe you can use your imagination to imagine that your hand is encased in ice. Truly imagine those feelings. Separate your hand, in your mind, from the rest of your physical body. Think of it as detached from your physical being. Continue to focus your attention upon your hand and allow it to lose all feeling. Using your internal dialogue again, tell yourself that your hand is becoming numb. No feeling at all. Inside your mind instruct your hand to go to sleep. Tell it to go to sleep. Be aware of all the unusual sensations that are in your hand as you focus upon it and keep all your focus and concentration upon it. Step 4. Tell yourself that every breath you take seems to cause your hand to become number, and number, until you just can't feel your hand at all. You just can't feel your hand at all because it is numb. No feeling. Numb. Tell yourself that with authority and belief. Step 5. Now, you're going to transfer this lack of feeling to the part of your body that you desire to feel numb and have the anesthesia in. So when you are sure that you have created the correct level of numbness in your hand you're going to raise your hand and place it upon the part of your body you want to feel numb. When you do this, you'll transfer this numbness to that part of your body. 
So then go ahead and raise your hand and touch the part of your body you want to become cool and numb. Maybe imagine the numbness as a color that you are spreading into that area. Maybe imagine that part of your body being filled with that color and creating that numbness. Imagine all the sensations of numbness are being transferred into that part of your body. Release the numbness into that other part of your body. Then spend some moments doing that properly and thoroughly now. As you do it, give yourself a time limit that this is going to last for. Naturally, you do not want that part of you to be numb forever. So make sure that you set yourself a time limit when your self-induced anesthesia will end. Step 6. Now that you have transferred the calming, soothing, numbing coolness, and you're physically feeling better and better in that area. Really enjoy the sensations and marvel at your own amazing self. Imagine coolness permeates the area. Imagine you experience wonderful relief in that area. Breathe deeply and relax completely. Maybe even repeat a little mantra of support to yourself at this point, calm, cool, soothing, numbing sensations permeates the area. Better and better. Numbness. Relief. Numbness. Use words that appeal to you the most. Step 7. When you have maintained the state and are sure that you feel really good. Say the word, anesthesia, to yourself, so that each time you use this word in future occasions, when you have the right intention and conditions to do this again, saying the word will bring the resources of this session to make next time even better. Breathe deeply, embrace the sensations in your body and mind and repeat the word to yourself. Trust that each time you choose to use it in the future, it has a wonderful effect of enhancing and amplifying your control over your anesthesia. Step 8. And it's time to focus the incredible power of your imagination by imagining yourself doing this even better next time. Imagine that you feel more and more in control of your own mind each time you do this. Experience the joy in this realization. Create every detail of this future occasion in your mind, including your reaction and the reactions of others. And in so doing you communicate your desire to the levels of mind that will assist you in manifesting this natural anesthesia better and better each time you do it. Each time you use that word when practicing your anesthesia, tell yourself it works more and more profoundly and powerfully. Imagine yourself really feeling good about this and what you can do with the power of your own mind. Spend a few moments quietly doing this. Step 9. When you have fully absorbed all you can from this wonderful experience, open your eyes and remember all that has been communicated. Step 10. Practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the better and more thorough it is. You may want to practice doing this on your arm. Prior to doing it, pinch your arm until it hurts to gauge what your pain tolerance level is in that arm. Then when you have it anesthetized, test how different the sensations are. If you like this video please subscribe and share it with your family and friends.